If you want to learn more about spins and how they work in pickleball, then this video series is for you. This is video two in our three-part series. In our last video, we covered how spins impact the ball and showed you some different shots so you can make a decision as to whether you thought the benefits of the spinning of the ball outweighed some of the, the negatives, if you will, of either learning spins or adding those errors, potential errors into your game. In this video, we're gonna cover some common misconceptions about how to spin the ball and some techniques that are used that we see out there that are pretty frequently used that are not optimal for how to spin the ball. My name is Tony Roy. I'm a master teaching professional as well as a senior professional pickleball player with 40 years of tennis playing and tennis experience, so I know how to spin the ball. Let's talk about spins. Let's look at some common misconceptions about applying topspin to the ball as well as applying slice to the ball. What pickleball players do on the topspin side is they'll take their paddles and they will brush up on the ball like this, sort of, you know, Rafael Nadal style or, you know, tennis player style. So they'll come down and then they'll come up through the ball like this. That's brushing up on the ball. The problem with that technique is that technique, it basically intersects the, the arc of the ball, the way the ball's traveling across the ball instead of through the ball. The way to think about it is like this, and I'll do it this way so you can see it better. So say the ball's traveling towards me, this way. If I take my paddle and I push it this way, right, the same way the ball came, I'm more likely to make contact with that ball successfully on the paddle, right, and send it in that direction. So looking at it from your vantage point, look like that, the ball's traveling towards me, I make contact with the ball, and I send it back in that direction. What happens with the brush up is, looking at it from this direction again, is the ball is traveling towards me, but my paddle isn't traveling this way. My paddle is traveling from here, up, as the ball's traveling, my paddle, my paddle is traveling across the arc of the ball, right? Look at it this way, coming towards me, paddle is traveling, basically intersecting it like at a 90 degree, right? And so what happens is you increase the chances for error because the timing of the shot has to be absolutely perfect in order to intersect the ball as it's traveling this way, get the, get the paddle on the ball every time at the absolute correct timing, right? To intersect the, the, the sweet spot of the paddle with the ball as it travels. If you think about during a course of a pickleball game, balls are traveling towards you and you're brushing up and brushing up and brushing up. Just imagine how many times that can break down over the course of a game, as opposed to hitting through the ball, which we'll address more in detail in video three of the series. Same thing happens on the backhand side. If you're cutting through like this, under the ball, trying to brush under the ball to create that spin, it's the same problem. Ball travels this way, you're coming this way. Instead of going through the, the ball's trajectory, it increases the chances that you're going to make a risk as you hit the shot. It also creates less certainty as to where your ball is going to go. As you brush up on it, is the ball gonna go up? This way, this way, this way, it's unclear. So there's a wider range of possibilities on where your ball ends up. In video three, we're gonna cover a more appropriate technique for adding spins to your game. Highly recommend, if you haven't checked out video one, you check it out because the first thing you need to do is make a decision as to whether you want to add spins to your game, whether you're in a place where adding spins to your game makes sense, and whether it's worth the trouble, worth the downsides, because there are downsides to adding spins, before you come back to video three and check that out. Good luck out there.